Hello everybody, doing something different. Well, we'll see if it works out. Um, tonight I thought I'd take you along to what I'm making for dinner. I am making cottage pie. It'd be like shepherd's pie, but we're using ground beef. And shepherd's pie is made with lamb, and a cottage pie would be uh, with ground beef. I have two pounds of ground beef. I cut up an onion. I, I thought I had a uh, large... Uh, Carrots, but I didn't. I just had a bag of baby carrots, so I just took a bunch um, and cut those up. <laughs> and um, those will be my vegetables. I have some tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce. I used to say it really good when I was a kid, now I can't say it. I have some minced garlic. I have some beef broth. I have four potatoes uh, boiling right now. They will be done shortly. And I am going to uh, I do saute these up and get them good and um, soft enough a little bit. And um, then I'll add the ground beef to it. And I'll take you along, but I just want to show you what was over here. All I have going over there on the stove is the potatoes bunny. So I'll be right back. Alrighty now. So, what I've done, <laughs> went ahead and added the uh, carrots and onion in here. <laughs> um, I didn't use butter, but you can use butter. I just added a little bit of um, avocado oil. And I don't, I'm not giving a, like exact ingredients um, because I don't use exact ingredients. <laughs> I just uh, um, guesstimate kind of what I want in there. And uh, that's what the uh, cooking's about. Get it to how you like it. So, my. The stove is a little bit dirty from the potatoes. The water is splashing over. So that sucks. That's going to be fun to clean. So I'm just going to cook these a little bit longer until they're a little bit more soft. And then um, I'll add some more ingredients to it. So, alrighty then. Okay, so now, oh, that is hot. I'm going to add like two tablespoons tomato paste and I'm going to add, I don't know about that much, a bit of salt. I don't want to do it anymore, I do it. Okay. Let's in there. I'm also going to add hard doing it on the camera because I usually um, just put stuff away as I go but then I'm away from the camera. <laughs> so 
do that, I'm going to add a little bit of flour. Not that much. But, uh, I do have some notes over here, so I don't forget. <laughs> Some broth in here, beef broth. I have to piece, piece this video together because it's stopping and starting like the potatoes. I need to uh, mash. So that's one cup. Add that in yet, but it doesn't matter. Add it before or after. Let's see how much. And you can add more vegetables in there if you want. I've seen some people add corn or peas or just by the mix medley vegetables thing. So peas and carrots or whatever. I'm doing it that way too. But I'm doing it this way now. Okay. That's a mess. Yeah, I'm not just <laughs> seeing this all over the place. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not used to a messy kitchen because I'm a messy cook for sure. But like I said, usually, ah, it's quite different. And the reason why these are in plastic bags is because I bought a huge thing, and that's hot. Because I was going to cook my vegetables over there. Because um, I bought a huge thing of ground beef, and so I split it, split it up into one pound packages. So now we just got to cook this up. Yeah, that smells good. I love this stuff. Yeah. I put this on my steaks. That's the brand. The brand I buy. Where's my lid? There it is. <laughs> okay. So. Just going to break this up. Turn it down low because it was, it was going, going too high with the vegetables. So I'll turn it up a little bit more. And again, you guys know your stove. Okay, so I'm going to brown this up a little bit more. So right now, I'm going to stop this and start uh, mashing my potatoes. Um, now, you just mash them the way you usually mash them. I um, use a manual masher, drain the water, mash up my potatoes, add some salt and pepper, um, butter, add some milk. I have some sour cream. I'll probably add some of that too. Um, in there too. If I had half and half, I'd put some of that in there. 
I don't. So I'll just use some milk and sour cream, salt and pepper, and butter. And uh, Okay, here's my potatoes. Nothing fancy here. Here's my potatoes. I put like four potatoes. Kind of, um, well, a couple medium, couple large. It's basically just the two of us, my husband and I, so this will give us leftovers for tomorrow also. Because it's quite a bunch. So I just mash it really good manually. You know, some people like to use the electric. I just, I don't like mine really, um, I don't know, I say mushy, it's mushy to me, but maybe it's like extra creamy <laughs> to you. It's not like that, I like the lumps, I don't like the lumps. Okay, butter, um, i put a couple of tablespoons in there. Fancy. Get a workout. Potatoes, that's for sure. Yeah. And a mess. Oh my gosh. I usually do this on the stove. But I'm going to add a tad of milk. Use whatever milk you want. Like I said, if I had half and half, I would have used it. But just a full milk. We don't do skin milk or non fat milk. We don't do a whole lot of milk. I'm going to add some sour cream. Just a little bit. So. I did add some salt and pepper to the meat. And Looks looking for Bailey's. You can write salt and pepper. And I can't believe I was out last month in our pantry. We had a whole branch, maybe two, of, from a bay leaf tree. But. Never got around to packaging it up, so that sucks. I don't know how long it's been. It was it was in the pantry for quite a while. Hmm. All right. not done yet. Still got some red in it. Okay, I'll be back when this is fully cooked and uh, the liquid has um, gone down some more. Alright, in the meantime, I think I'm going <laughs> to try and clean up this mess I made. <laughs> Alright, the beef is done. Now I was thinking, I always grew up calling it shepherd's pie. Yeah, so I might have been wrong. It's actually cottage pie, but <laughs> I'm going to call it shepherd's pie anyway. I'll let you decide. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> anyway, let me grab the beef and hopefully I don't burn myself. Because what I'm not is the strongest. So I'm just going to add the beef to the bottom of this pot. What's the pot called? This pot's probably too big, but. I've never used it and I've had it since 
Christmas, and here it is. <clears throat> Middle of October. All right, so what next comes next is, you got that in there. Let me see, I bring it closer. No, let me bring this closer. Nope, I guess that was the best. All right, so all I'm gonna do is put the mashed potatoes I am just going to spoon it on, on top. I don't get all fancy. <laughs> and what you didn't see me make was some garlic knots. Actually, I didn't make them. Just bought the box from Walmart, kind of like Texas toast, but uh, um, it's bread made into a knot. When I was in college, God, that was a long time ago. I was in culinary class, and we used to always have to make the knots, the bread biscuits, uh, not biscuits, but rolls. But I didn't mind it. It's quite relaxing. Oh, so some people put stuff on top. I'm not going to put nothing on top. I'm just trying to cover the meat with potatoes. And I put it on top of a cookie sheet that has parchment paper on top of that. Which is not going to spill over, but <laughs> you never know around here. So I'm going to stick it in the oven. And then I'm just going to brown it. Just to, uh, where do you, you know, the potatoes start to brown. And then you pull it out. And then it's ready. What time is it? Anyway. So. Hmm. All right. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the oven now. I have it set for 350 not sure what you want to put it at, but you just want to brown the top because it's already cooked. It's already ready to eat, actually. Um, but I'm going to brown the top. Okay. Well, about 20 minutes. Around there. All right. I'll be so there it is, guys. Actually, I ended up turning up the heat to boil because <laughs> I cooked it for 20 minutes. And I had it at 350. It probably should have been higher, but it wasn't like browning. So I just put it to broil to brown it a little bit. It's still sizzling. I don't know, you can't see it, but it's sizzling over there still. And then these are the French knots um, that we'll have with it. And actually, I'm going to wait for my husband to get home. And it's really hard to film while he's here because he talks too much. So I'm just going to end it here. <laughs> and I'll let you know in the next video, if I can remember how it tasted or I'll put it in the comment after I put it up. Okay, so there you guys go. Something simple and easy to make. And uh, now that we have our own beef because we just butchered a cow and just brought home meat, it'll cost us less. Well, it did cost us $800 for half a cow, but still, <laughs> I'm not paying $6 a pound or whatever this cost in the store. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Enjoy.